Netflix dishes out more original series than we can keep up with, but let's not forget about the traditional TV shows that can be just as good. Here are our picks for TV shows on Netflix that you need to see. AMC's Halt and Catch Fire tells the story of how two engineers, a programmer and a pitchman, shaped the landscape of personal computing and gaming in the 80s and 90s. More than that, the show takes special care to show the human connections and betrayals and the role of women in tech and gaming while foreshadowing some of the darker corners of the online experience. The joy of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend isn't just in the hilarious musical numbers, but the way it irreverently bucks rom-com conventions. The show's commitment to its broken characters, headlined by the effervescent Rachel Bloom, is one of its strengths. The writing never gives them an easy way out and never forgets their humanity. It makes the emotional moments resonate and keep the comedy sharp. Catherine O'Hara is one of the best and biggest reasons to watch Shit's Creek, but the ensemble cast provides its foundation. Co-creators Dan and Eugene Levy, who play father and son in the show as well, have created a truly funny and sweet series about a family that loses its status and wealth and has to live in the titular town. The show's fandom has only grown after it landed on Netflix and across five seasons, the Rose family has evolved from materialistic snobs to somewhat empathetic residents of Schitt's Creek. Christopher Maloney as a broken detective, stalked by an imaginary flying unicorn, voiced by Patton Oswalt, doesn't seem like it would work, but boy does it. Adapted from a comic series of the same name, Sci-Fi's Happy sketches out a dark timeline in which detective-turned-hitman Nick Sachs has to track down a young girl who's been kidnapped with plenty of one-liners and bloody encounters along the way. This is like Bizarro World Law and Order. The Sinner is a Jessica Biel-led drama that gives you the who right away, but the why takes a little longer. Biel plays Cora, a stoic wife and mother who one day stabs an apparent stranger on the beach. She's resigned to her fate in prison, but Detective Harry Ambrose, played by Bill Pullman, sees something else in her and helps her navigate the past trauma that led her to the brutal act. It's a divisive show that leaves some questions lingering, but it's nonetheless one of the best TV shows on Netflix, and it's frighteningly easy to binge. The Good Place is one of the most ambitious half-hour comedies you can find. Kristen Bell plays Eleanor, a deeply narcissistic woman who dies and ends up in The Good Place instead of The Bad Place, where she should have gone. In an effort to prove to God, played by Ted Danson of course, that she deserves to stay, Eleanor enlists an ethics professor to teach her how to be good. The show mixes silly jokes with highbrow gags about Kant, philosophy, and moral reckoning. The Good Place has quickly established itself as one of TV's best comedies, and now one of the best TV shows you can get on Netflix. We think it will legitimately surprise you. Pose weaves together elements of New York City ball culture in the late 80s and chronicles the personal and professional battles of a group of friends who have split into opposing factions. House of Abundance, led by Dominique Jackson, and House of Evangelista, led by series standout MJ Rodriguez. There is a subplot involving Evan Peters as an executive who works at Trump Tower, but don't let that dissuade you from watching this excellent show. If you haven't taken the Breaking Bad plunge, it's time to give it a go. Watching Walter White's ascent or descent from milk toast science teacher to drug kingpin is staggering. The methodical storytelling makes room for all the details you normally don't see in a crime story. It's those details, along with superlative acting, writing, and directing, that make Breaking Bad not just one of the best TV shows on Netflix, but of all time. Adam Ruins Everything is the perfect buffer for the age of misinformation. Despite the title, host Adam Conover doesn't ruin anything. Instead, he's breaking down common misconceptions and accepted wisdom about political issues like voting and immigration, all the way to more personal ones like sex and weddings. Conover's sense of humor makes the show feel less like a criticism and more like a collective corrective. 
Jane the Virgin starts with accidental artificial insemination and blossoms into one of the most critically acclaimed TV romantic comedies since Moonlighting. It made Gina Rodriguez a household name as she plays the titular young religious Latina woman. The show's heroine remains strong in spite of the many tragedies that befall her. There are mystery shows, and then there's Twin Peaks. David Lynch's opus is ostensibly about the investigation of Laura Palmer's murder, but that's like saying The Wire is just a cop show. Peaks packs so many confounding elements into the town and townspeople that no two viewings are alike. The show's resurrection in 2017 only adds to the lore of the first two seasons and its infamous ending. Though the third season revival isn't yet available on Netflix, you can catch up on the first two seasons and easily watch the third elsewhere. With Bruce Campbell involved, nearly any incarnation of Evil Dead would have a small but ravenous audience regardless of its quality. Ash vs. Evil Dead from Stars rewards the loyalty of fans by being far better than anyone could have hoped. It's everything you want in an Evil Dead show doled out in 30 minute increments. It packs so much blood, guts, and laughs into each episode that it's almost exhausting to have this much fun. Christina Hendricks, Mae Whitman, and Retta star in Good Girls, a crime comedy about women on the verge. Dissatisfied with suburban life, financial troubles, and terrible men, they hatch a plan to rob a grocery store, then try to cover their tracks. The chemistry of the three leads really locks in after the first few episodes, and you're all in as they try to take back their identities and agency while avoid getting caught. Still not sure what to watch tonight? It's a common problem. Check the links in the description of this video for more guides on the best movies, original series, and documentaries on Netflix. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Daily Dot for more reviews, recommendations, and guides about the best streaming entertainment.